Welcome back in today's science lesson. We are learning that pencils aren't just for writing. Chemical Kim is here to show us how we can use them in the process known as electrolysis. That's right. That's right, Catherine. This is a really, really cool activity. <laughs> Because, you know, it's the idea of making an alternative fuel right there in your home. So this is yeah. a hot topic. This is what yeah. the world is talking about. For sure. Yeah, this is really cool because, I mean, can we actually put water in our gas tank and run our vehicles on water? Wouldn't that be nice, It huh? would be. And it, I'm sure we can, no question. It just is that amount of energy it takes to make the hydrogen gas. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to show really simply how we can make hydrogen gas at a really small scale. And it's a real simple process putting together using two pencils, okay. a nine volt battery, and then just some, um, you know, wiring. And we have a whole system called, you know, a hydrogen generator. We're okay. just going to generate hydrogen. So that's what we're going to make. Just to quickly show you, this is what I did last time. And it's the same process. This was to test to see if, you know, there's ions in solution. And this is where we uh, connected a nine volt battery. Yes. And then when we put it in water, nothing, there's With no the, generation. Yeah, there's a, a Christmas light on the edge of this that you can't see so great on TV, but you exactly. would if it lit up. Exactly. It didn't Which, if you put it in salt water. Look at that uh, now. You know, so that was, you know, a nice little activity. And we're just going to, and you can actually see, if you look in there, you can <gasps> see little oh, bubbles forming. Yes. Okay. And that's what we're going to look at is those little bubbles. And we're going to okay. generate those bubbles. So really quickly, Catherine, so that you can do this activity. Okay. You're going to take one of these. Yes. Um, this is just a, you know, 9-volt battery I'm connector. I'm going to snap that on. Snap that on. If you don't have one, you can just use electrical wiring. Okay. Connect it to both the terminals, the positive and the negative terminal. Got it. And what's really cool too is that kids can see which terminal attracts the accretes the hydrogen gas that positive or negative that positive okay so you're going to take one of these you know and uh, one of the terminals mm -hmm. and attach it to graphite which is in pencils it's not lead you know it's just simply graphite mm. and then we'll take another um, I'll just kind of do this quickly here yes and then we'll take another piece of electrical tape and we'll take another battery. And you mm -hmm. notice I sharpened both ends of the battery so that the graphite which passes through, that's going to carry that charge. Okay, got it. Okay. And so when we put this into a water, and uh, you can put it into a water environment, but it actually works better when you put a little bit of salt into, into the water. Your water. Why does that work better, do and, you know? Yeah, that, because um, salt does put more ions into solution. Mm -hmm. The sodium and the chlorine separate mm -hmm. into ions, which is a really cool chemistry lesson in itself. Yes. And that also was sort of what we demonstrated in regards to the, um, the Christmas light bulb. Yes. Now we'll use a clear salt solution. And if we did connect them well enough, when you stick that right into... What part am I putting in, Kim? What part do you think, Catherine? <laughs> well, I'm so ideally it would conduct from both ends, right? Right. So, but maybe I'm going to put this in? Nope, you're going to put oh, the oh. other end. Excellent. I got a 50-50 chance. <laughs> okay. That's right. Okay, so when you put this in, yes. and um, I'm going to guess because I did this really quickly, that one of them is not touching. So I'm going to use okay. this one that I made here. But when you put this in, I know you have to get really, really close to see it. But do you notice on the ends of one of the electrode, or one of the graphite pencils down there. Little bubbles. You get the little you bubbles. You see the bubbles coming up? Tiny little foamy stuff, yeah. Okay, to see it even better, which is a really, really, really cool way to do this, you know, you can connect the batteries together to get more voltage, Juice. right? Yes. More DC voltage. And then what I did is this little apparatus, which is taking a paper clip, cutting a paper clip, putting it through a disposable pipette, and then filling it with salt solution. Now look at this, Catherine. You're going to touch the positive, I mean the negative, um, and then I'll hold the negative, and you hold the positive on okay. the two different. And the metals are not touching in there, but do you see? <gasps> oh, look at the see bubbles. See that generation that of gas? Just with more juice flowing and a smaller quantity of water, maybe? Isn't that cool? Yeah, I mean, look at that. Cool. You're making hydrogen gas right there look at using 9-volt batteries right there. I love it. Okay, now, hydrogen gas. And what, what's really cool is can the, when kids do this, can they decide, again, you know, which one is it, the positive or the negative that the hydrogen is attracted to from the water molecules it splits, mm -hmm. right? So so cool. So this is the alternative fuel source right here. Now, of course, what I'm going to demonstrate here is something that kids want adult supervision with. And I think I have to so put my glasses on. Put your this, safety right? glasses on. Okay. This is when we can do this together, Catherine. Okay. You hold the balloon. And what and are we doing to it? This is how combustible hydrogen is. Okay, because this again, is full of hydrogen gas. Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to light a candle here. We had a, pr a, pr uh, a first explosion elsewhere in the studio. Okay, ready for this? Yes. Ah! Oh my 
my gosh! There you go. <laughs> Alternative fuel source right there for you, Catherine. <laughs> I think I gotta go under the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can find more activities from Chemical Kim on our website at wzzm13.com under Take Five Winks. Very you cool. shocked me with that one. <laughs> I thought there'd be a little poof.